hello, my name is Joel Ababa, and I am the Franchise King. Today, I wanted to briefly share with you something about franchise brokers, and this will help you when you work with a franchise broker if you ever choose to go that route. Now, real quick, a franchise broker is someone who is paid by the franchisor to find suitable candidates for their franchise. So even though the franchise broker comes across as someone who's working for you because they're trying to match you up to opportunities, they are working for you, but kind of not because they're really working for the person that's paying them, which is the franchisor. Think of an executive recruiter. Same kind of thing, the executive recruiter doesn't charge you a fee because their fees are pretty huge and the fees come from, from the employers who have hired them. Same thing with, with franchise brokers. They're paid by the franchisors, large fees, to find suitable candidates. And if you happen to sign on a franchise uh, on the dotted line uh, uh, of a franchise you found through a franchise broker, that broker will get paid a, a substantial sum. So that is, in a nutshell, what a franchise broker does. Here's what's really important. A lot of people, a lot of consumers like shopping around. And I shop around too. Uh, we all do. We're trying to find the best deal or the best opportunities. But when it comes to working with a franchise broker, only work with one franchise broker. Don't work with two. Don't get, don't get uh, um, too smart for, for the franchise process. Working, for, working with two franchise brokers is not going to increase your odds of finding something that is a fit for you. If anything, because there are so many franchises out there, you'll end up being confused. When I was a broker, once in a while, I would talk to someone that, that would work with me for a couple weeks and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, say, by the way, I'm also working with Tom from XX Franchise Brokerage. I thought you'd want to know. And, and what always happened was I would follow up and I would, I would have conversations with, with the franchise candidate, who was not my client, obviously, and I would ask them what they thought of the franchise that I tried to match them up with. And they, would, they wouldn't really know how to answer because they'd be kind of confused, or they would answer, but then they'd bring up another franchise they were looking at from the other franchise broker, and it would just be a really complicated, convoluted conversation. And I actually kind of felt sorry for the franchise candidate because in their mind, they, th they were thinking that it would be better to work with two because they'll be shown twice as many opportunities and maybe they'll find that magic opportunity that is the one. But they ended up being so confused that most of the people that were working with more than one franchise broker dropped out of the process and ended up getting a job or just, just never got a franchise. So please know this. The franchisors out there, there's only about 20 or 25% of the franchisors that work with franchise brokers to begin with. So chances are, if you work with one franchise broker, the other franchise broker that you choose to work with at the same time, which I don't recommend, is probably going to be working with the same franchise companies. It's just basic math. Think about it, all right? Only work with one franchise broker. If the franchise broker you're working with after a month and a half or so hasn't really brought anything to the table and you feel that it's just time to sever ties, that's fine. Then maybe work with another franchise broker. But please don't work with two franchise brokers at once. You're not solving the problem. You're only confusing things. I'm Joel Abava. I'm the Franchise King. And in the future, I'm going to give you some more tips on working with franchise brokers, what to look for in a franchise broker, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Thanks for watching.